Um, you got CPS looking at that. There's some condensation that seemed to be coming down. A lot of things at play, but, but the bottom line is that part of that section of the roof needs to be replaced. So we're going to work on an RFQ and then we'll interview firms. So we'll bring that to you guys for approval. They'll put together specifications and then we'll go out to bid. It'll be a, a long process, but we need it to get started tonight. Even though I, I feel terrible that we're approving the budget, at the same time, we're telling you we missed it. But this, this storm two weeks ago really brought some things to life. Any to idea about that. what percentage of the roof that is, that part? If you look in the, uh, uh, you know, in your packet, there, the, the, there's a map in there and it right. shows an overview of the park center. But, but basically, it's, it's uh, when you come in, it's the library, <coughs> the locker rooms, the offices, uh, that that section. So basically, the, the sections that are we're not really having problems with would be the theater, and then also the gymnasium. Right. So they're about a third each. If you look at the price, they I, I, I don't see the square that's footage that's right now, but it's, it's about a third. <coughs> and then the pool roof as well. Above the pool park center. Yeah. Above the park center is flat. The gable roof is uh, that's over the pool. The pool itself, they have that test run. But then it ties into the flat roof, and uh, I'm sure you've probably seen it when you go into the pool. That's there, there, there's something going on there, and they, we've had guys up. They, we, it, it, uh, I can't remember Riverside Roofing Company. They've been out three or four times, and they, I mean, this is what they do is patch roofs, and they, so, and we did look at the OEM books, and uh, basically both those roofs are rated about 20 years, and we're at 23. So, so the. the the northeast side of that roof on the pool is it actually drained onto the top of the flat roof on the yeah that's how it was built Whoa. Okay. So. so anyway more to come in a future meeting but we're gonna have to do something with that one section at least you need a motion to approve that oh, see, okay. we just wanted to tell you <clears throat> any other questions if not i'm 15 bill 61 28 board of number 63 46 Approving the 2021-22 pay plan, second reading, and final testing. <coughs> Move to second reading. Second. An ordinance approving the 2021-22 pay plan as amended for the city of Fergal, Missouri, which shall become and be made a part of the 2021-22 budget as made and provided in section 67.010 at sequential RSMO 2000. So rest by reference. Mr. Thomas Ivey. Present. Here. Hudson? Aye. Martin? Aye. Swaney? Aye. Schumer? Aye. Six ayes, no nays. <clears throat> Number 15, Bill 6129, Board Number 6347, entered into an agreement with DHMG Engineers, Incorporated, River Fisheries Natural Gas Distribution System Master Plan, second reading and final testing. Move for second reading. An ordinance authorizes the mayor of the city of Fairville, Missouri to execute a contract between the city and DHMG Engineers, Inc. To oversee the natural gas distribution system master plan. For this ordinance, we're authorized and direct the city clerk to attest the signature of the mayor. The rest by reference. Move for final passage. Second. Hudson? Aye. Martin? Aye. Swaney? Aye. Schumer? Aye. Zurich? Aye. Six ayes, no nays. Item 17, bill number 6130, to ordinance number 6348, entry <coughs> into agreements with Arches relative to culprit intermission. Second reading and final passage. Move for second reading. Second. An ordinance authorizing the mayor of the city of Fairville, Missouri, to execute a contract by between the city and various artists <coughs> to OC2 public sculpture display. Further said ordinance will authorize and direct the city clerk to attest the signature of the mayor. So rest by reference. Move for final passage. Second. Hudson? Aye. Martin? Aye. Swaney? Aye. Schumer? Aye. Zurich? Aye. Six ayes, no nays. Item 18, Bill 6131, Volume Number 6349, entering into Second Amendment to Berry County Cultural Heritage Tourism Cooperative Agreement. Second reading and final passage. Move second. Second. An ordinance authorizing the mayor of the city of Perryville, Missouri to execute a contract by and between the city and County of Perry, Perry County Economic Development Authority, East Perry County Cultural Alliance, EPCCA, and Greater Perryville Area Chamber of Commerce. So let's see to Second Amendment to Perry County Cultural Heritage Tourism Cooperative Agreement. 
Further said ordinance, the law authorizes the director to the court to address the signature of the mayor in West Fargo Park. Martin? Aye. Riney? Aye. Beamer? Aye. Garrett? Aye. Hudson? Aye. Forsyth? Aye. Item 19, bill number 6132 for ordinance number 6. 350 entering into a revised contract with Bear Engineering LLC, second reading and final passage. Move to second reading. Second. An ordinance authorizing the president of the Board of Aldermen of the City of Fairville, Missouri, to execute a contract by between the city and Bear Engineering LLC relative to engineering services. Further said ordinance authorizing the director to the clerk to attest the signature of the mayor, or excuse me, attest the signature of the president of the Board of Aldermen, the West by Reverend. Move to second. Second. Riney? Aye. Schumer? Aye. Green? Aye. Garrett? Aye. Reese? Aye. Hudson? Aye. Martin? Aye. Hi-Hi? No nays, one abstention. Item number 20, bill number 6133, board number 6351, entering into an agreement with Southwest Metamonic College relative to aviation management program internship, second reading and final passage. Do we need to I'd asked about Penny Blaine in my notes where we talked to Tom and he said go ahead we can finalize it so that's changed since my notes so please proceed. Move for second reading. Did you second? Yes. Second. He did. An ordinance authorizing the mayor of the city of Fairville, Missouri to execute a contract by between the city and Southwestern Illinois College relative to aviation management program internship. Further said ordinance to authorize the director to the clerk to attest the signature of the mayor to Russ by reference. Move to final passage. Second. Schumer? Aye. Garrett? Aye. Reese? Aye. Hudson? Aye. Martin? Aye. Hi-Hi? No nays, one abstention. Item 21, bill number 6134 for ordinance amending city budget, fiscal year 2020-21. First reading. Move for first reading by title only. An ordinance approving amendments to the 2020-21 budget as originally passed and approved on the 17th day of March 2020 by revising, confirming, and updating end of year balances, confirming budgetary expenditures, and repealing all ordinances in conflict herewith. The rest by reference. Item 22, bill number 6135 for ordinance adopting city budget, fiscal year 2021-22. First reading. Move for first reading by title only. Second. An ordinance approving the 2021-22 budget as amended for the City of Fairville, Missouri as made and provided in section 67.010 at sequential RSMO 2000. The rest by reference. Item 23, bill number 6136, ordinance amending title 10, chapter 10, plan 12, report of ordinances relative to crosswalk schedule, Shinner Road, first reading. Move for first reading by title only. Second. An ordinance amending Title 10, Chapter 10.12 of the Code of Ordinances of the City of Fairville, Missouri, and specifically the crosswalk schedule adopted therein and established by Ordinance Number 5608 relating to crosswalks in the City of Fairville, Missouri, and repealing all ordinances in conflict herewith. The rest by reference. Item 24, Bill Number 6137, amending Title 10, Chapter 10.20 of the Code of Ordinances relative to prohibited parking schedule entry fee. First reading. <clears throat> Move for first reading by title only. Second. An ordinance amending Title 10, Chapter 10.20 of the Code of Ordinances of the City of Fairville, Missouri, and specifically the prohibited parking schedule adopted therein and established by Ordinance Number 3618 relating to additional parking restrictions <coughs> in the City of Fairville, Missouri, and repealing all ordinances in conflict herewith. The rest by reference. Item 25, bill number 6138 for ordinance, entering into an agreement with First State Community Bank relative to tax exempt equipment lease purchase agreement and police force. First reading. Move for first reading by title only. Second. An ordinance authorizing the mayor of the city of Fairville, Missouri, to execute a contract by between the city and First State Community Bank relative to approving a tax exempt equipment lease purchase agreement. Further said ordinance authorizing the director of city clerk to attest the signature of the mayor, the rest by reference. <coughs> Item 26, Bill No. 6139, ordinance entry into an agreement with Long Range Network, LLC, relative to lease of space on Rucker Tower for installation of internet equipment. First reading. Move for first reading by title only. Second. An ordinance authorizing the mayor of the city of Fairville, Missouri, to execute a contract by between the city and Long Range Network, LLC, relative to lease of water tower space for wireless <coughs> internet equipment. 
Further said ordinance shall authorize and direct the city clerk to attest the signature of the mayor as a rest by reference. Mayor, before we go on, I, I wanted to ask a question for the clerk there for a minute. I, I read through that thing, and since I'm not a Philadelphia lawyer, uh, what if one of them guys over there said it's Paul Delta thing and it's written as whatever it is he puts up there? Is it his insurance or <coughs> what he's liable to? We, we wrote a um, we wrote a provision in the contract that says that they have to provide uh, insurance in the uh, what in Missouri we call the sovereign immunity amount uh, that, that they have to provide insurance and name the city of Fairville as a named insurance. Is that what that clause was? Yes, that's what I, that clause was about. I couldn't. I didn't read it that way, so I don't know. I better ask the question. That's, that's right. what that's about. Well, okay, thank you. And, and there on the, this next one, it's very similar to the last one. Uh, we hadn't talked much of you guys about it, but I figured it'd be okay uh, based on previous <laughs> guidance. But this will just put a small little antenna on City Hall uh, used for surveying, but precision agriculture as well. So we checked references of this company, uh, talked to several cities, handful or so, everything checked out. So yeah, they also gave the deer in it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just curious why would why would it fit City Hall? I mean, I'm not sure to be honest. Put it up on the courthouse or something. Yeah. It's way up in the air. I, I think they probably have found cities are generally easy to work with, especially <coughs> ones that want technology in their community, and that's why they approached us. I, I thought the same thing. So we checked them out. I mean, we did. So they didn't put a hole in the AV. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Number 27, bill number 6140, for ordinance entry into agreement with Micah Geosystems Incorporated relative to hosting global navigation satellite system at City Hall. First reading. Move for first reading, I'll try to roll. Second. An ordinance authorizing the mayor of the city of Fairville, Missouri to execute a contract buying between the city and Micah Geosystems Inc. relative to host for SmartNet global navigation satellite system reference network. Further said on that, authorize and direct the city clerk to attest the signature of the mayor. The rest by reference. Item number 28, committee report, public work. Item number two. Nothing this is your mayor, thank you. Is there anything at all? Yep. Mr. Director. Put that, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> public safety, all of them here. Up here, here. Uh, none this evening, Mr. Mayor, sir. Item number four, the writing. Nothing this evening, I uh, will. Miss Dave as a uh, as a committee thing. Do you want all the money? Uh, nothing tonight, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Is there any gentleman all in the group? Okay. Pause here. Thank you. Just a real couple quick things. Just to remind you that uh, the feasibility study is going on. I'm working with the consultant to finalize what the survey questions are going to be. And those should be coming out in the next month. Um, I work with the Habitat Board, and if you remember several years ago, we gave a piece of property to the Habitat Board, um, and we could never find the family, so uh, I work with the board, and actually they're going to return that piece of property at, at 403 West North Street, um, so we'll be working with them to get that back. Uh, working on that transportation grant, we have a focus group with our social service agency this Thursday uh, breakfast to kind of talk about the plan and then our business one is going to be on March 15th uh, a luncheon and then just for your info the downtown revitalization met today and we're starting to set the events for the year uh, right now we're planning on the events like we normally do the cruise ends and all that and by next meeting we'll have a letter detailing all that uh, requested of the city that's all I have, Mayor. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Number 29, report this evening. Really not much this evening, Mayor, either. The spring leaf removal, there's that last week we do, uh, mostly for for stragglers, but uh, a lot of the tail trucker leaves way. That's March 28th, or 22nd through the 26th. I've seen a couple piles already, so people are going to take advantage. Uh, spring cleaning, it's just a couple weeks later. And then the final thing, uh, FAA inspection, I, just a, another opportunity to brag on, on the work Barb's doing at the airport. Uh, 
inspection is very favorable. Jeff and I met yesterday with Barb. Uh, Jeff had already developed a punch list for the, the things that MoDOT wants us to address. So we'll be submitting that on the city's behalf by, by week's end, I believe. Uh, but MoDOT continues to like what's happening down there. So, so thank you guys. I'd answer any questions if you got them. Mm -hmm. I remember the third video is city engineer. Thank you, Mayor. Um, so the Highway 2 Waterline Project, they, they did make it out there today to, to work on the Gore Highway Board to get that casing pipe over underneath the highway. Uh, they did complete that later this afternoon. So tomorrow they'll be threading that main uh, water main pipe, the PVC pipe, through the casing, casing pipe and hooking it up on each end. So I anticipate by the end of the week we'll have that hooked up and, and uh, start the testing and, and pressure, you know, the pressure testing and the inspection of that line and um, you know, getting it operational. So um, make some good progress today out there. Might as well let it straighten out a little bit. Uh, the CIPP project, they, they are back in town finally now to, to finish the, the uh, seal up those service line connections to the main, to the main line. Uh, they'll be, they've, they've taken several weeks to get it all done. There's several, several to do out there and it's, it's, it's somewhat of a slow process. They clean it first. And they come in and shoot the wires up in there and then seal it all up. So it's, it's just a, it takes a little while to get them all done. So um, now that they're in town, like they should finish that up here within, within a few weeks. Um, this trunk line job, we're um, continuing to work on the easements. Um, just need to make contact with everybody and, and, and get those things signed and sealed and delivered. So hopefully we'll, we'll make some good progress on that in the next couple of weeks. So that's what I have for tonight. Unless we have any questions. Yes. Did, did we ever uh, fully identify the, at the corner of Jose and, and Water Street? We got a sign. Is that actually a sinkhole? Uh, Jose and Zemo Street? Water Street. Water Street. Yeah. Water Street. On the, oh, yeah. On the southeast corner. You know, we, so we ran our, yeah, I'm thinking about it. We ran our camera up that road. There's a pipe that stems out that way and goes out that direction. And I don't remember, remember how far we got up in that pipe. I, I think it has to do with that pipe, if I remember. I need to go back and look at my notes on that and see what we found. But there was a pipe that kind of stepped out that direction. I, my recollection is that we thought it might have some, something to do with that pipe, but I don't know where that pipe goes. Or it picks up some gutters, or it picks up that you know, that well, that, that uh, walkway along the side of the building there, the high school. Has yeah, that. There's, there's some talk about all the water that runs off the parking lot, both in the wintertime, snow melt, like you just said. Yeah. It was about an inch of water going out the entrance on the street right. from all that melt. So if we wanted to get rid of that water, if that was a sinkhole, maybe we could pour the pipe <coughs> into that sinkhole if that's what it was. Well, and there's a there is a sinkhole down in the street, like in the street, in the, in the street at, uh, at the intersection there, near the intersection, uh, along with the, that big pipe. Is that where that big pipe goes? Actually, the pipe is connected to it, but it, the pipe continues on with all the way to Belt Street. Okay. But they're all interconnected there, so so there's there would be a way to probably tap into that storm pipe at a much closer location where the pipe went all the way down to that corner. But but we need to go back and look at that to be sure. But I think that we decided that it probably wasn't a sinkhole, that it wasn't even that old pipe, but we didn't really know what the pipe was. So we'll probably need to reinvestigate that and get a, kind of get a conclusion on that. And the pipe's a Z hole. Yeah, it, it 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 is. It's not as deep as I I'm just looking at it. it. Looks looks like it would be much deeper. We actually pulled out the old plans. We found some old plans on it, and it was you know it was constructed, and it it runs all the way all the way across the street. I was looking at it while I was talking to you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, report, I forget what report back to the attorney. Nothing tonight, Mayor. Thank you. Report back to the report back to Clark Center. <coughs> what? I mean, Mr. Kevin, do we have anything back to Clark? Sure. Thank you, sir. Excuse me. Uh, <coughs> well, some uh, Derek Fox store from I, you've all were introduced to him. He's a theater concession manager. His wife uh, had twins today. Oh, really? So I guess. Yeah, she was a little early, but everybody's okay. So I'm assuming next time you see him, he'll have bags under his eyes. But everybody's happy, healthy, and wise. So. Any aspirin? 
So, we um, well, cut the ribbon on uh, for the new locker rooms on the uh, last week. It had about 30 people out there, so it turned out real well. So that was nice. It's uh, going to be out in the paper, I guess, tomorrow. We took a picture and did a little story about it. So look forward to reading that. Um, uh, that trim grant you know, for the downtown trees that was the, I, t I turned in the final report this week. So hopefully we'll hear back in a couple of weeks from uh, uh, Jeff City and uh, you know, get that back. It was a 60 40 split, if you remember. So, um, another, well, we had a second vaccine back on February 19th, and that went real well. They did the, uh, the health department had it where they did the appointments, and that was much, much better than just showing up. And so it was very organized, uh, really, actually. They asked very little of staff to do, so it, it was a real nice event. And next time, if they said if they do another mass event, we're going to do uh, uh, appointments all the way through. So that's that's definitely the way to go. And uh, that, unless there's questions, that's that's what I have. Yeah, I got a comment. If I could have waited till the weekend, but <laughs> over where they improved that sinkhole over in my men's ball field. Yeah, it was taken. That was taken care of. Yeah, so. was washing down on the on the walking trail. There. Yeah, Not part of it is that on the sinkhole side, the dirt was a little higher yeah. than the trail itself. So it was it was just pond in the water. But we got that off the trail and it trimmed that edge down, so it, it should flow a lot better. Yeah, and the yeah, seam should flow there. Take about like ten minutes shove it off. I just might just start to do that with another work unit. But well, that was taken care of today. So oh, it was. Okay. Oh yeah. yeah. They caught me in church and told me about it <laughs> Sunday. Wait a minute, I watched this morning. It's still there. When we talked about it, our department had meeting at 8 30. So. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. From by tomorrow. <laughs> it's keeping you honest. Yeah, yeah, I'll share that. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thanks. Time for the two board concerns, comments, and other non action items. Start with all nine, please. Uh, let's see. Uh, how many more years we got to look at that weed patch behind the... But we're burning it tomorrow. What? You're burning it tomorrow? Yeah. <coughs> I hate to say that. <laughs> yeah. It'll grow back, but we're burning it. But uh, I, I think there's six years on left. That. I think there's six years left in the contract. Come on. It was a 10-year agreement. It's a 10-year deal, yeah. Well, see, normally, to make those things look right and do what they're designed to do, the uh, conservation department should at least once a month have somebody there and maybe a person from the city, I don't know. You know, I don't know, leading the manicuring. Manicuring, thank you. They're, they're coming tomorrow to help us with this burn. So what, we've lost a couple of years waiting on, on them. So now they're gonna teach us. So going forward, we'll do an annual burn. Um, I, I understand it's going to look different when it comes back. I'll get your fingers crossed. <laughs> and tell, would you please uh, uh, make note to them that you have at least one alderman kind of on your back all the time about <laughs> it needs to be maintained. Uh, we'll visit with them tomorrow on the scene. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Mayor. That's all I have. How old are you? I do have another question. I said something. <laughs> the showers and you know they look great, it's wonderful. But I noticed when I was in there, and I said something crappy. They're sort of. It's taken care of. Okay. Yeah, I don't know that they're up yet. Put as far as soap or. A, oh yeah, know. those have been. Those are ordered. So. Okay. And uh, so I, I don't know when that'll be used. So, <laughs> so anyway, they're on the way. Hey, Tom, there's a lot wrong with the I don't have any decision there, so no, I, I'm good. On the tree, I had mentioned that tree on Beach Street would be able to take care of it. Remind me, Ted Wing Street back off of Ted Wing Street. Oh, where it was in the way? No, it was dead. Top of it, too. Oh, yeah, I, did, I, I said something. No, it was. Yeah. I don't know. It may be on the list. 
for a town when we get to that bit. To it today, uh, he's got the concrete for you sealed off, and uh, well, he's got a lot of work to do. Really, got to throw it all in and landscape and make sure. But we'll hopefully, how, how deep is that? How deep is that? Is it pretty deep? It's probably when it's all said and done. It's probably going to be in the big 15 to 20 feet. So that's pretty big. Yeah, it's quite a piece of bolt on there. I mean, she you know, she took the water. Thank <laughs> you.